copy back in the workshop, or should I say, living room. Uh, this is three jaw update, three jaw upgrade update two. I'm not talking about my three jaw chip upgrade, but since this arrived. couple days ago I figured I'd show it off there it is from the headstocks point of view there's the tailstock point of view There's the machinist point of view. Ouch. You know whose point of view this one is. This is an inexpensive Chinese pinch neuroler. Uh, there are two other sets of rolls. The really fine is really nice and most likely going to be using them most often. The mediums mounted in here very nice and clean okay that'll get used these ones the course uh, If you look really close, find the best, closest, pause it. In, you'll see that one of these rolls is malformed. It looks like a bad knurling job on that one roll. Or it looks like the tip of the inside of a Jacob's Chuck when they're bell mouthed and go. Well, that's the coarse one. Least likely, I'm going to be using that on a shear line. I was looking, thinking, when I ordered, you know, am I going to have to make a special bar just so I could mount this on my leg? But then I was looking at this bar here if I drill two thread clearance holes for 1032 I could bolt it directly on any of my shear line 
tool posts. The quarter inch, the three eighths, the rocker. I can even bolt it on the front of my compound. Not gonna. I figure the uh, three eighths tool post is the one that's gonna get used for this. And if I'm not happy with that, I've got some more aluminum coming. I've got some inch by inch, and I have some large pieces. I think we'll, a, a hunk of one of the large pieces, if, I, if it comes down to it. Well, I'm going to mount this baby on my shirt all the way and the mirror over there. Why a pinch type mirror? Bump style. I've got two little wheels. They're either solid or they swivel. Most popular of the swiveling has three different pitches. Yeah. Now, self adjusting as long as you got it close to center. Problem with bump style knurling heads is the load they put on the bearings of the headstock of the wave. 12, 16 inch LeBlanc or Cincinnati that you don't own. Eh, that's the earlier head the boss gave me to use. Oh, well, it was a nice lathe. I'm working on a shear line and I have to replace any part I destroy. <laughs> I'm going for pinch narrowly. I saw an interesting handheld pinch narrower. Had the two angled and one straight. So it made a set of triangular narrows. Oh well, I've got this one. Perhaps the Hot, 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 hot setup. Take two, three pitch indexable bump knurling heads and mount them so that they're pushed together with. Well, you can figure that out. And they're pushed together to squeeze those four knurling heads on that round part. He's going to sign out for now. Oh, by the way, you may have noticed that I don't have my Geek Chorus cooking dinner. <laughs> and it's quieter. And I think tomorrow i got to start cleaning the path to my workbench. So I can actually start working. It's cold out. Thank you.